Hello, friends, and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready to learn something new today with us. My name is Gabe, and I'm Andrea. Friends, we are still in Hualien, learning about Aboriginal culture, and we have keywords to help you learn today. Are you ready to look at them? Let's begin. The first one is exhibit. Exhibit. Did you see the art exhibit? There were many beautiful paintings in it. Rarely. Rarely. Peter doesn't like this restaurant. He rarely eats here. Gift shop. Gift shop. Maria bought a birthday card at the gift shop. Okay, friends, it's not rare that we repeat these key words, so repeat them with us. The first one is exhibit. Exhibit. Rarely. Rarely. Gift shop. Gift shop. Great job, everyone! Now let's go see our friend Eddie. <laughs> Hello, Eddie. Hey, do we have a gift shop here?、Hmm, oh, that's a good question. That is a very good question. Well, Eddie, we don't have a gift shop right here, but you might be able to find one close by. Ah,、uh, okay. Do you want to buy us a gift for you? Yes. And you? And me? Yeah. Sure. Yeah.、Uh, but how about today's mission for now? Okay. Sounds good, Eddie. Okay. Today's mission. What are the Taroko women good at? What are the Taroko women good at? We'll find out. Let's go to the village. What's that building? The architecture is wonderful. We'll see the presentation about the Taroko tribe in there. Then we'll look at the exhibits in another building. I'd like to see them. We'll also see some of their arts and crafts, and some Taroko women may be weaving. And later we can see some Taroko dances. I, I can't wait. I can't wait. Well, that shows that Patty is excited, doesn't it, Gabe? Yes, it does. When you use this phrase, "I can't wait to do something," that means you are excited to do it. You want to do it soon, not later. Yes, I can't wait for the weekend. I am going to relax. I can't wait to go home so I can. Relax and read my book. I just can't wait. Well, I can't wait to learn our keyword game. Can you wait? Well, I, I, I can't wait. Let's do it right now. Okay, here it is. Our keyword from this conversation is exhibit. Exhibit. Now, an exhibit is something that you look at and learn from. An exhibit might have different pictures and things that you can read to learn about a topic. And there are many different kinds of exhibits, friends. You know what I like? I like to go to art museums and look at art exhibits. That's kind of fun because there are many beautiful art exhibits. That's true. Actually, many museums have exhibits. You can learn about history by looking at the different exhibits. Now, some of you might also be interested in schools. Maybe you're looking into college or university. You can go to a place and look at exhibits from different schools. Yes, and Andrea, you talked about learning from exhibits. When you go and look at an exhibit, you can learn something from it. There is usually information that will tell you something, or maybe you just learn something just by looking at it. 身教于台湾其他高山型国家公园，泰鲁格是一座很容易亲近的国家公园。只要沿着中横公路爬升
That was a good presentation. I learned a lot. Me too. I didn't know about their tattoos. When I first came to Hualien years ago, I saw those tattoos a lot. Now, I rarely see them. Only very old people have them now. Is someone taking pictures of them? They need to preserve that part of their culture. I know. Some people are doing that. Well, friends, they just came from a good presentation. Roger says that was a good presentation. That's a big word, but if you remember, presentation means something that is done in front of a lot of people. A presentation. When you go to a presentation, you listen carefully to learn about something. Well, this was a good presentation as they learned more about the Taroko people. Yes, Patty says she didn't know about their tattoos. Grandma said she didn't know either because now she rarely sees these tattoos. Well, friends, we rarely teach this word, but we are going to teach it now. Say this word with me, rarely. Rarely. If you do something rarely, that means you don't do it very often. If something happens rarely, it doesn't happen very often. That's true. Let's use this word. Kim rarely eats meat. She eats a lot of vegetables. That means she does not eat a lot of meat, maybe just once or twice a year. You know what? I rarely see snow. I grew up in a place where there is no snow, and so if I see snow, it's very special because I rarely see snow. Yes, it's always special when you do see snow. Well, there's someone who we don't rarely see. The Taroko women are very good at weaving. They use lots of colors now, but they used to use only white with some red and green. Weaving must take a lot of time. It does. Let's go back to the gift shop now. I want to buy something for my mother. <laughs> sure, but don't shop too long. We still have more to see. Welcome back, everybody. Now, friends, that was a great conversation. It was so great that we found the answer to today's mission. The question is, what are the Taroko women good at? What are the Taroko women good at? The Taroko women are very good at weaving. Yes. Now, when you are good at something, that means you can do it well. They are good at weaving. And weaving is a lot of work, isn't it? Oh, yes. I mean, I guess I have never weaved before, but weaving looks like it is pretty hard. But when these Taroko women weave, they make some beautiful things. That's right, and maybe they'll find some of those things in the gift shop. Patty says, let's go back to the gift shop. Let's learn that keyword together. It is gift shop. Gift shop. Now, a gift is something that you usually give someone. Another word for a gift is a present. A shop is a store. So you can buy things, you can buy gifts for other people or for yourself at a gift shop. And friends, let's use these words in another way. If you go and visit somebody or a place, then usually there is a gift shop there at that place. You can say, hey, let's go and stop by the gift shop. I want to buy something at the gift shop. Many people buy something at the gift shop 
to remember the place that they visited. Gabe, do you often stop at gift shops? I do. I stop by the gift shops, but then after looking around, I realize that most things at gift shops are Pretty expensive. Well, that's true, but sometimes you can find a, a t shirt or something small that you can keep in your room as a memory. Song time. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day we've waited for. Our hopes are high, and we will try to do our best to score. We want to take the chance to break a record that was set before. The team and coach are ready to compete with all the other teams we hope to beat. So every Cheer for the Olympics this year. This is the day, this is the day, this is the day we've waited for. The crowd is gathered in the stands, and you can hear them roar. Conversation replay. What's that building? The architecture is wonderful. We'll see the presentation about the Taroko tribe in there. Then we'll look at the exhibits in another building. I'd like to see them. We'll also see some of their arts and crafts. And some Taroko women may be weaving. And later, we can see some Taroko dances. I, I can't wait. That was a good presentation. I learned a lot. Me too. I didn't know about their tattoos. When I first came to Hualien years ago, I saw those tattoos a lot. Now, I rarely see them. Only very old people have them now. Is someone taking pictures of them? We need to preserve that part of their culture. I know. Some people are doing that. The Taroko women are very good at weaving. They use lots of colors now, but they used to use only white with some red and green. Weaving must take a lot of time. It does. Let's go back to the gift shop now. I want to buy something for my mother. <laughs> sure, but don't shop too long. We still have more to see. Calendar phrase. I have an idea. Okay, Gabe, what is your idea? Let's look at the exhibits. Let's look at the exhibits, yes! That's a great idea, Gabe, and that is today's calendar, calendar phrase. phrase. Let's look at the exhibits. Let's look at the exhibits. Now, if you are at a museum or even in a school or visiting a place that has exhibits and you want to look at them, you can say, Let's look at the exhibits. Well, let's look at our calendar phrase skit.
Let's look at the exhibits. Let's look at the exhibits. This museum is wonderful. Let's look at the exhibits. No, I'm hungry. Let's eat now. Oh, come on! We just ate breakfast. Let's look at the exhibits. But we will be at the museum for a long time. We can look at them later. Okay, okay. Let's eat first. Then let's look at the exhibits. Sounds good to me. Let's look at the exhibits. Let's look at the exhibits. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. And Eddie,、hmm? yeah. what what do you have there? Oh, this this is a a a toy. I got it at the gift shop. Oh. Okay, Eddie, you you bought a little pig. Yeah,、wow. yeah. Well,、that's, that is cute. Yeah, that's great, Eddie.、Mm -hmm. Um. I will call him well, Porky.、E、oh, okay, Porky. Good. That's the pig's <laughs> name. Eddie, can you give us the question of the day? Oh, oh, sure, sure. The question of the day: Do you like to look at exhibits? Why or why not? Do you like to look at exhibits? Why or why not? That's a good question. I like to look at some exhibits. I like to look at art exhibits. Because a lot of it is very beautiful. Sounds good. Well, friends, join us again tomorrow, right here on Let's Talk in English on PTS, where learning, learning English can, can be fun. fun. Goodbye. Bye -bye. Say bye, Porky.